Um, so, Merrick, just uh, I'm sure you've heard of uh, the commissioner's comments today to the Calgary Chamber of Commerce. Uh, re your reaction to the attitude of the city needs to embrace it. If not, people will have to deal with that. And when asked with what, I don't know. That was essentially the message. So, your reaction. And? <laughs> I mean, after all, I, mean, I don't know why anyone would think this is surprising or news. This is the man's job. <laughs> this is what he does. Um, and perhaps in other cities that he has come to, the city councils have just written checks based on back of the napkin proposals um, without any consultation to the public or without any analysis. Uh, that's not how we operate here. We have a comprehensive framework in place. As far as I know, the Flames are very happy with the comprehensive framework, if they haven't. If they're not, they certainly haven't told me that. Um, and we'll see what the numbers look like come spring, and then we'll have a very big public discussion about it. Have you seen any numbers that suggest that this is economically viable? No, but I haven't seen any numbers that suggest it's not either. So let's wait and see what those numbers look like. Did he ask for a meeting tomorrow? Or? He did. Um, I'm in council, and I suggested that unless he's got some new information that's different than the last time we met him, it's probably not worth his time. Are you worried that some of his comments about this is for the vibrancy or future of the flames? It's a well. I know that I know that Calgarians require very wealthy people from New York to come and tell us what we need to do in our community because they understand vibrancy better than we do. 